the Minolta SRT 201 35 millimeter film camera. Hi, I'm Rob. We'll be talking about this old Minolta camera. When I say old, it's an SLR film camera which I purchased in 1977. And this is a look around. More metal than plastic uh, that you see uh, today. Much more metal and a little heavier feel than today's cameras. Here's some of the parts. Okay, that's the stop down button. Use that to preview depth of focus. That's the self timer. Move that lever to the left, and there's a little button underneath you push to start the self timer. This little button is used to uh, for removing lenses and changing inter interchangeable lenses. The two connections on the side are for uh, shutter synchronization with flash. This button rewinds the film when it's all exposed. And then you lift it to, to pop up in the back. That's the hot shoe for flash. This dial has uh, one... At this time, I'm changing the ASA, which is now the ISO setting, the film speed. And then on top of that same dial, I'm now I'm changing the shutter speed. Okay, this lever is where you advance the film. Let's take a look at that. That's how you advance the film. That in the center is where you can connect and um, remote shutter release. And then you press that to uh, take your picture. Like that. I like that sound. That's the frame counter. It tells you how many shots you've taken and how many have left. Typical roll of film had between 12 and 36 shots, so you had to kind of be economical with them. On the back is a DIN to ASA converter, conversion table, as well as though this is the viewfinder. This is how it looked through the viewfinder. On the right was the exposure. The center was a frenzel lens for focusing. The bottom was the film speed indicator, and the top was the f-stop indicator. Back to the conversion table. That's mostly archaic. Now it's ISO. We most people use that just for the end of the film box to remind you what kind of film, what speed, how many shots were in it. Just slid that into that. Uh, little drawer there and it was a handy reminder okay underneath you have the battery on battery off battery check selector there in the center with all the scratches is where you mounted the tripod right there and then the battery compartment that's the battery compartment just opened it up there The PX13 batteries that this camera took are no longer available because of the mercury. I'll put a link to search PX13 in Google at the, down below on the video. There are places to claim to have batteries that will work in this camera. The voltages aren't always the same. If just because they physically fit into that compartment doesn't mean they can be exactly the same. You need to um, test them yourself. Sometimes your exposure meter may be off, but it'll be consistently off at least. That button, push that as a film release. P push that up in coordination with that other button on top, and you open the back of the camera to get the film out. This is the other button. First you rewind the film once it's all exposed. Lift that. 
And it's not coming because we forgot underneath again is that button we just talked about. Push that button. Then pull on the, the rewind lever and then you can open the back. Okay, that's basically how, how the film travels through the camera. You can see that process there. The leftmost compartment is where the film spool goes. And the film travels across the film plane in the center there below the viewfinder. And it's taken up on the rightmost spool. The spool just to the left of that one has sprockets that engage the side the ends of the film and help feed it through. This is a picture from the manual that shows the process right there. See the sprockets on the right with the circles? Those are the sprockets to feed through the ends of the film. Okay, the MC Rocor lenses were the uh, main line of lenses for Minolta. I was happy to use the less expensive Celtic lenses, which were actually very good from my point of view. My favorite Minolta lens was the 50mm f3.5 macro. And there it is. Okay, we'll take off the... Um, Basically, that's a filter that I use to protect the lens. And there's the lens. Very close up, one-to-one -one shots. Really handy. Takes great photos. Okay, we removed that lens. Here's a look inside the front side of the camera. There's the mirror in the back there. That mirror flips out of the way when you press the shutter release. So that the light can, but when you're viewfinding, the light goes up to the prism on top. Okay, the other lens I pri uh, that I used a lot was the 200 millimeter f 4.5 boy that is slow and uh, line up the red dots and then to the right or clockwise as I say to tighten the lens this lens has a sun shade which is actually metal I think the uh, yeah the skylight filter and the uh, lens cap were just stuck together and there's yeah there's the lens there's the light sunshade I'm trying to say and then there's the lens heavy lens Okay, that's the Minolta SRT201.